When I started the company, I couldn't even spell the word entrepreneur. And I would never would have imagined that we would have a multi-million US dollar valuation. This is Suhas Gopanath. Aged just 14, he became the world's youngest CEO. He is part of a new generation of young people founding business empires whilst they are still at school. By 2025, India will have overtaken China with the largest population in the world. The number of millionaires in the country is set to increase by 50% over the next five years. Suhas Gopinath became the world's youngest CEO in 2000 at the age of just 14. Today, the software company he founded has made him millions of dollars. Globals, setting the global trend. But he still lives at home with his mom and dad. Suhas's empire had humble beginnings. It started with a trip to the local internet cafe. So it is where I started my company when I was 14. And I still remember my cycle being parked here. I was wearing my school uniform every day and, uh, and operating an internet shop in the afternoon. I spoke to the shop owner there and I requested him when he goes for his lunch if I could operate the shop after my school so that I could look after any of the visitors that come down to his shop. In exchange, I will use internet for free of cost. There aren't that many 14-year-olds even today who would do something as entrepreneurial as going to an internet cafe and say, can I run it from one to four to be able to access it? Very few kids would do that. They would demand that their parents give them money. Sue has decided to found his own company whilst he was still at school. I fell in love with the world of internet and I really enjoyed building websites. I could realize that I really had the passion for it because I never used to feel exhausted, I never used to feel monotonous about this. I used to sit there, so this used to be the bench. I used my old school notebook to write the business plan because I didn't have a printer, so I started to write how the company looked like after five years, who would be its team members, so uh, to fill up the positions, I started to include all my friends' names in it. At home, Suhas's traditional middle-class parents struggled to accept his career choice. I hail from a family where entrepreneurship is considered as a sin and you do anything outside uh, academics, it's, it's considered as unorthodox. Initially you were uh, reluctant, you were uh, not uh, encouraging him because we are all afraid. We are not used to this type of uh, business in our, uh, in our family. I still remember uh, my mom walking back with me after a parent-teacher meeting where she was weeping all the way until the home. She was like, okay, I have no idea about your future, so uh, I may have to request your brother, after he's settled, to support you in your life and to look after you. Indians still continue to bring their children up to be fairly cosseted and looked after. So it's really quite unique to hear about a kid who actually has the courage to tell a, you know, a South Indian family to be able to tell his parents, I'm not going to study and I will run my business. But it wasn't just his parents who disapproved. At times it was very heartbreaking when I used to call my friends on their home numbers and the mother used to pick up and say that, OK, uh, I don't want you to talk to him anymore, Suhas. Hope you don't mind. Hope you understand. We are a very middle class family and we want uh, our, our kids to focus on their studies and uh, not get involved into these internet computers. When I wanted to start a company, I was inspired by success path of Bill Gates. So I, I came to know about his story and I felt that when he can start his company, why not I start my company? 
And, uh, Suhas had established an IT business at exactly the right time. This was the start of the technology boom in India. Investment was pouring into online businesses and there were vast fortunes to be made. 2003 onwards, the telecom revolution took off uh, in a way that people could connect at a really low cost. It became totally a different society. Global's Inc. expanded rapidly. Between 2010 and 2011, the company's revenue doubled. One thing special about him is he's positive always. When I feel something won't happen, he says, you don't have to worry, we will, we will do this. We will make this happen. And I don't know how, but things happen. So Vineet will walk us through the new features of the product. In the early years, Suhas and Vinit's major challenge was being taken seriously despite their age. How to make yourself more aged than you are. So there can be a lot of strategy. Put on weight, first thing. Try to, try to uh, you know, start shaving fast so that you know, your beard starts coming up. I used to leave my moustache uh, for quite some time. I used to support a moustache because uh, I intentionally wanted to look old whenever I went to the meetings. After sharpening the pencil, the carbon which used to be there used to put as a moustache. So we tried all these permutation combinations that although we are 18 years, we make you feel that we are 25, 26 at least. As the company grew, so did Suhas's international reputation. He was named a young global leader by the World Economic Forum. During a trip to Davos, he had a surprising encounter. I realized that he went to the washroom and I was waiting for him to come out of the washroom immediately at the door. And I met him and I told him that, okay, I'm absolutely speechless because you've been my inspiration for, actually for many years. And the statement he made was that I should be afraid of you now because you started much earlier than me. Eventually, Suhas was even able to earn the respect of his parents. When he recruited the 250th person, definitely it is a good moment for us. I am telling him, even I can't manage maids or want to cook and drivers, but you are managing all so many people, how we are managing only. <laughs> India is likely to continue to benefit from its birth boom for the next few decades. But even here, there are signs the birth rate is slowing down. I still don't consider myself to be a successful businessman because I still have a long way to go. And, and of course, every day when I wake up in the morning, I tell to myself that it's still the beginning. Great.